Research shows that the gut microbiome affects a lot of how we experience our daily lives. Emotions, weight, brain functioning, even our food choices. But how does it work? The gut microbiome is a collection of trillions of microbes, or microscopic organisms. These microbes, like bacteria and fungi, live in your digestive tract, mostly in your large intestine. Digestion is just your body taking raw materials, food, and turning it into something it can use. Nice crust. Digestion makes glucose, which runs your brain and muscles. It also enables your body's messengers, like hormones and neurotransmitters. Your digestive system is a factory for turning food into fuel, and your microbes are its workers. And what you get out of it depends a lot on the quality of what you put into it. Gut microbes have their own genes, which affect the way your human genes act. There are about 20 to 25,000 different human genes that make up your body. Sounds like a lot. But there are millions of different microbe genes inside of you that influence how your human genes act. In some studies, the microbiomes of healthy mice were transplanted into stressed mice. The stressed mice then showed fewer anxiety symptoms. Fruit flies with particular bacterial species in their microbiomes ate more protein. When researchers changed the flies' microbiomes, the flies ate more sugar. In one study, researchers found that many elite athletes have a group of bacteria that helps break down lactate and could help performance and recovery. When these bacteria were transplanted into mice, the mice's treadmill performance increased. And this is all great news, because you can't change your genes, but you can change your microbiome for the better. And one of the quickest ways to do that is through food. There are immeasurable other factors that influence your gut microbiome, where you live, sleep, exercise, stress. But what your body makes and what kind of microbes your gut has depend a lot on the food you eat. You can change your microbiome and potentially your daily experiences and long-term health through food. Recent technology makes it possible to test your gut microbiome at home to get a peek at what's living inside you. But is gut microbiome testing worth it? In the next episode, we'll take a look. For The Washington Post, I'm Mary Beth Albright.